right, here we go. Lucid Dreams. This is a incredibly simplified version, but um, hopefully one for beginners like myself. We're going to be playing the first line, then the second line, then the third line, then the fourth line. Then we're going to go back up to the first and then finish with the fifth. So we play the first line twice effectively. There's also an opportunity for you to repeat uh, the pink section, but I'm going to skip that. Okay, let's do it. Right, so probably a few mistakes there, uh, but that's the gist of it. So this is a tab which I have more or less made on my, uh, uh, well, not I didn't make it on my own, but I compiled a bunch of existing tabs online and I tried to simplify it where I could. Um, again, you can repeat the pink section if you want. So basically when you reach the end of the third line over here, you could go back up to this pink section and kind of play that middle part again if you'd like. Uh, I, I think it sounds better without it though, just to keep it a little brief. Um, the blue notes are the ones that you should play a little bit longer. Um, I, you know, the issue with guitar tab is it doesn't really have a good way for you to sort of denote, um, like denote how long you should hold the note. So I, I feel like um, that this is kind of my in place uh, replacement. Um, I've also shortened the tab, right? So you'll see there's only three strings represented here: the high E, the B, and the G. And that's because there's no other notes that you need to play on the other strings. Uh, I pulled them out, basically. I replaced them with other notes. However, uh, just to keep it simple, because otherwise it, it was a little bit too hard for me. I think it's easier on the piano, but for the guitar, it was like impossible. Um, at least for me as a beginner. And then for the fourth section here, I tried to get rid of this fourth D, but I just couldn't get rid of it, so I had to keep it in. Uh, however, I think there's a few tricks that can come along with playing it. So when you're on this measure right here, this section over here, so it goes... Let's try that. Sorry. Now you take your pinky, you push that onto the fourth there, and by by pulling the string on the fourth, you've actually left your pick on the third, and I've kept my index finger right here on the second fret of that third string, so it's immediately ready to play for the next measure that follows it, the really little one. <laughs> and I don't know how the hell I divided these measures because this one has only three notes, but I, I did it in, in certain uh, sections that made sense for me. So, it, you know, it's, it's obviously a little homebrew, but I like it for that reason. Um, other notes here, uh, these red notes that I made, this five and this five, these are a little bit tricky. 
Um, and I think the only way to do it is kind of with practice, you know, just to figure out where your finger needs to move there. This one in particular is a real doozy, this two to the five, because you, uh, you go from this two, and then the spacing, like the really nice thing about the spacing in the song is that it's pretty consistent. Um, so for example, up here with this five, three, five, four, two, four, that's really easy to play because you do, um, you have the five on the pinky and then the three on the index finger. So you do, and then that spacing is the same. You just pull your hand up, but you keep the exact same spacing for the next part. So in total, that's, so it's nice to keep that spacing and you would expect it to be the same over here but it's not, right? The two to the five is, is one extra. It's three notes instead of two notes away. So you need to get used to doing the two. And then instead of playing the four, you drop down to play that five. So that one's a little bit of a doozy. So you gotta just kind of get used to it, I guess. And then the other underlines here is just to say in this section, you gotta go a little bit faster than you probably would feel comfortable doing so. And again, I, I have the timing of this totally wrong, and it's it's not really representative of the original version of the song anyway, but I think it sounds beautiful, it's really fun to play, and hopefully this tutorial can get you playing this song or you know some of the recognizable melodies as well. So uh, let me know if you enjoyed it, and if you want more videos like this, just let me know.